In this video, I will show you how you can do keyframing in DaVinci Resolve for your iPad. I also will show you how the dynamic zoom is working and a couple of options how you can use those keyframes. I'm Daniel, I'm a filmmaker and travel blogger and I teach DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. If you're into that and you wanna learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, subscribe and dingle the bang bang gong. I prepared a couple of different clips here. Uh, number one is just a still image. Number two is a shot where we have a drone shot. And number three is a woman walking. Start with the simple image. If you select the clip and open the inspector, you will have all those different types of settings that you can change around, like the zoom, position and everything. And there's even more functions if you just scroll down. The way you can do keyframing is, you see here on the right, all those little dots, those are keyframes. So for example, if I'm on the beginning of my clip, not the end, now the beginning, I can now, for example, select here a keyframe for the zoom. And for example, later, let's say until the end of my clip, I just wanna zoom, or let's say until, until here, I just wanna zoom in like this. You see here, there's a red mark here, and if I click this little arrow here, I can jump back between my different keyframes. So I have two keyframes at the moment. So if I hit spacebar, you see that I'm now cropping in and I set it a keyframe. For example, if you have a drone shot, you can achieve the vertical zoom effect. I show you how this works. You zoom in here like this for the beginning, and then we set a keyframe. And then on the end, we basically zoom out back to one, and it will look like this. You're zooming in and you're creating this amazing vertical zoom effect just by two keyframes. But I wanna show you something. Let's return all of this. You remember I showed you this, just zooming in. And the funny thing is with DaVinci Resolve, there is a function. And I think this is one of the best functions that you can use in DaVinci Resolve that makes this app differently. If you close this tab here, so you can always just click here, you will see dynamic zoom. And dynamic zoom is basically, now you don't have to do keyframing. You can open dynamic zoom, like activate it, and then go here in the settings menu. And the third icon is the dynamic zoom. So let's just make the screen bigger so you see more from the screen. So the dynamic zoom works like this. If you activate this icon here, you will see two boxes. One is the green one and one is the red one. One is the starting point and the other one will be the ending point. So now without having any keyframes, just by that, I already see a slight zoom in. I also can reverse my direction by just swapping. So now you see that the green and red lines are the opposite and I can change those boxes. Let's see like this, for example. So now I start with this and I'm zooming in faster and faster. Or the opposite, if we wanna create the, if we wanna create the vertigo zoom effect here, we swap all of that and we zoom in like this and you create this amazing zoom effect. So last clip, let's say you have this woman walking and you have any other element, like for example, here I have the YouTube logo that I'm now bringing in. So I have the YouTube logo, it's massive, it's huge. So I just go in and make it smaller. Like for example, if you wanna change the position of something, you can also go in here and the very first icon will give you this um, box and you can just manipulate, yeah, like you can move, you can size, you can even turn around. Let's say I wanna keep this one here and now with keyframing, I could do the following. Let's say I want that my YouTube logo is coming from the side into this, stands there, and then moving to the right, stands there, and then moving out. How can I achieve this? So at the beginning, let's say until here, this is the position I want that, like let's say zoom and position, I want that one. Later in the video, like let's say in this position, I want that the position of my, it's actually easier if you use a pencil because you can do this one faster here, or you can just grab it and move it here. So let's say on that position, I want that it's here. And then later in the timeline, I want that it's zooming inwards and completely out of the frame. So let's jump to the beginning because at the moment we haven't started the start point. Let's say the start point should be bigger and completely going out. What we created now with four keyframes is it's coming in, it's going over and it's going out. So this is the way how you can create keyframes in DaVinci Resolve for your iPad. I'm Daniel, if you like this video, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding a the bang bang gong, and we see us in the next video. Bye.